Dawn, dawn, dawn. Hey, yeah, I just got back last night from Darwin, yesterday, Arvo. Tracks, lab, missions and that. You know what we're doing, bruh? You seen the title, lad? Gotta go check out my new apartment, brother. Mm -hmm. Jump in the ASTOS. They took in about cars. Well, cars. Well. A month from now, be a completely different car, trust, but well. Hey, um, even more exciting, brother. I get to go in my apartment, lad. Where do I open this? Oh, so many sets of keys. <laughs> you know how jade I am for this place? Bro, I'm so jade, lad. I'm so jade. So I've already started paying rent there. Signed the lease, this and that. But I move, I move in a few days. Because it's Christmas and New Year's and that. I'm not going to spend this time. It's Christmas Eve now. But Merry Christmas to everyone, by the way. Um, I'm not going to move now, you know what I mean? My wife's packing the house we're in, but I'm not going to actually move in over this period. So I'll give it like a week and then um, move in, lad. But So it just got professionally cleaned like yesterday while I was on the plane. And, um, bro, I'm just jade, bro. I'm so jade to move there, lad. Signed a one-year lease. And it costs an arm and a leg and then a few more people's arms and legs a week. But, yeah, that's what it is, what it is, lad. It is what it is. Listen to this car when you start it up, lad. Listen to the yarns. Right, listen to the yarn. Hello, <laughs> speaks Japanese from everywhere. We got the uh, reports done. Oh, managers like I uh, got the reports from the auction house in Tokyo about this because it was grade five up until recently. This car just went grade four point five. Grade five is as good as you can get. Grade four point five is full gun, but the full um, kilometer history for like the last since it was made and it's full legit, lad. Like it had up until recently, it had like seventy two thousand k's. Just and it was grade five. Just until like um, the last year, and I went to like ninety or the last two years. But ninety thousand k's on a car on a on a, on, a, on a Evo, like ninety thousand legit k's with the history there. That's mental for an Evo. Mental in Japan, they're like that, bro. They um they keep cars as like you know what I mean, low k's, bro. But anyway, soon we're gonna turn it into a race car. We're talking about cars. Yeah, I change my mind all the time, I don't care, you're going up here. Alright, bro, that's sim, bro, we he led. Wee, it's hectic, I've got two car spots here. So I know. Why is the car still on? Like, that's a turbo timer, eh? The car stays on when you turn it off. Yeah, that's what it is. Turbnos, time nos, lad. I fool don't even know where the elevator is. Hey, <laughs> let's go. Right, do we get out? But everyone is rich, lad. Oh, he's the elevator. But everyone is rich. Every car is look. Coming down past the first level, over car was look. Oh, glad. <laughs> I think that's a that's a Bentley. That's an Audi R8. There's a Porsche. There's another Porsche, and there's like an ordinary car over there. <laughs> that's what I mean. You should have seen the you should have seen the levels I drove past. Brother, it was all like half million dollar cars. I'm the poor person here. One day, brother. No 
no matter how much, I never own those cars, I'll tell you that. Brother. Alright, brother Will. Look at all the numbers, cuz. <laughs> smells hectic. We'll go suss out the, the, all the, um, oh. The sauna and the, the pool and the gym and stuff. Mad. I don't know if I'll train at the gym. I might be able to get away with some sessions, but obviously in your apartments, it's gonna be like a mot hotel gym. You can't do too, too professional bodybuilder there, cuz. It's my level, it is. Mo. Mo. What the f? Who am I ringing? I hate that, bro, when you're accidentally ringing people. You're accidentally ringing people and then they ring you back and you're like, bro, who are you, lad? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh. Oh, oh, oh. Who off your cameras? I think this is where I have all my ASICs, lad. Here, boom. 100%. Bro, watch how big this place is. You know, usually you go in a city apartment, you think it's gonna be small. It has to be small. No, lad. Nearly the whole level's mine. There's only like two apartments on our whole level. Look at this. This is my bedroom. We're doing house inspections, lad. Built in here. Oh, look at the buttons. They're hectic. Why is there multiple buttons that do the same thing? This is the ensuite bathroom. That's a mad bath, lad. Full day, look. That's sick, lad. I'll be doing more icy, salty baths in there, brother. Are these cupboards? Yeah, they are cabinets. Ah, they full deep too, the cupboards. Look how deep they are, lad. You go right in there. And another one. It is. There's three different wardrobes built in in the hallway. And then boom. Here's the, the main room, lad. This, this is my bedroom. In. And this is the view from the bedrooms, lad. Bro, I don't know how I'm going to get used to this, lad. <laughs> You just know how scared I am of heights. I walk on a little bridge, three stories, and my legs buckle. Bro, we're like... All I can say, I'm going to tell you exactly my level, but it's like higher than... It's higher than 20 stories high. Put it that way. It's higher than 20 stories. Bro, look at that, lad. Oh, you chai. I swear, wait, 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 wait. I'll go here, I'll, I'll crawl over to her at the start, cuz. Soon, he's a laughing, brother. Soon I'll be doing gymnastics on the edge. Relax, brother, who are you? Oh. All right, this is the view from the back. That's the view. So you see over like, see Sydney Football Stadium, at Surrey Hills. That way he's like, I don't know, bro. Paddy's Markets and Central Station. I'm getting away from that window. You see the view. That's South Sydney that way. Anyway, don't worry about the view. That's nothing, that view. Wait for the proper view. You think I got it because of that view? If that was the only view, I wouldn't even got it. That's just a bonus. It's like a hallway storage. I'll show you the view over here in a minute. I'll show you the mainstay. Here's the kitchen. I won't, I'll reveal it at the end. Wait till you see that view. I'm going to wake up every morning like this. That's what I'm going to do. Fridge. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. All right. Here's the rest of the house. This is like... Just the toilet. Yeah, that's just the toilet. Laundry. This is another proper bathroom. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, they're fans. That's a fan. That's a light. I'll leave it on. Laundry. Storage. And then two bedrooms. One for one for the boys, one for my sister. I think this will be the this will be the boys' room because it's yeah, this will be the boys' room. Oh yeah, look, you can see like Central Station there. Oh, you can see the flats at Waterloo. That's the flats at Waterloo. They're the two tall, skinny ones. You see them there? And this bedroom's bigger. Yeah, it is a bigger bedroom. She's cheering, bro. Little sister's cheering, bro. Her bedroom's the same size as ours. But she got a mad view too. Now look at this. Piece of resistance. This is obviously the living room, lounge room. It's actually massive. Hey! Look at this. Oh. How do you open you? Come on, bro. I don't play games in me, lad. I'm trying to do YouTube shows and that, but I'll knock you out. How do you open that? Oh, there you go. All right. <laughs> bro, it's so tough, lad. Oh. <gasps> bro, I can't walk. I can't walk me here. But anyway, I'm gonna show you. I'll stick it out. there <laughs> oh lads I'll stay here but you can see look see the navy ships at Woolloomooloo brah I gotta get over this lad I can't live like this and scared of heights come on bro I gotta wake up to myself <sighs> the building's not gonna fall over it's been here for 20 years like buildings don't fall over why am I scared do buildings fall over? They don't fall over. <laughs> on planes, I'm sweet. It's, but on mountains, I'm sweet. My brother spun out. The other day, I was in... Um, where was I? Fuck. Where wasn't I? Where was I? Where am I saying? All right. Um, Kefalonia in Greece. The other day, and I went to the to tallest mountain in the Greek islands. It's on Kefalonia. It's like a couple kilometers high. He's shooting the gear on the mountain. I'm, I don't care on the mountain, bro. I'm full on the edge, like Titanic, like oh, the wind. He's all the way shooting the gear. He goes, I thought you're scared of heights. I'm only scared of structures. That's it. I'm not scared on mountains. I'm not scared on airplanes. I'm scared in buildings and bridges and like Ferris wheels and shit. I don't know what that's about, but that's how I'm scared. A fool, you know how paranoid I am? <laughs> you don't understand, cuz. If I lock this, it'll make me feel better. I feel like it's obviously some type of OCD anxiety fucking thing. But I feel like, like I'm going to get chucked off. Like, I don't know why. So even when I'm here in the house by myself, I feel like someone's going to come and shove me. Like, that's the feeling. So if I lock that, I can't explain it, bro. Oh, lad. The tiles, they move. It only moved that much. Look, look. <laughs> that was enough. <laughs> All right, the tiles move. Prepare for that. No one's behind me. Coast is clear. Oh, I can't do it, bro. I can't do it. I don't give a fuck. I'll show you from here anyway. Look. I heard some noise. I'm out of here, bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know. I can't explain it. I'll fly over the, across the world, I'll climb the highest mountain. Buildings, give me two weeks. We're doing it from here, all right? So this is Hyde Park, obviously. That's the Anzac Memorial, St. Mary's Cathedral. That's Sydney Harbour. See the Navy ships? That's the Navy ships at Woolloomooloo. 
Garden, Garden Island Navy ships. That's a military base, the US and Australian military base. Um, that's the wharf, Hyde Park, there's the barracks. This is obviously the CB. There you can see the Opera House. We can see the back of the Opera House there. It's Elizabeth Street, College Street. This is where I grew up, lad. Like this, well, my mum lived a couple of streets that way and I grew up as a kid hanging around over there, Woolloomooloo, but this was, everything you see here was my background, uh, my backyard, my playground. Half a backyard and half a playground equals a background. I like that morphed in word. But yeah, bro, like, this is where we used to search, do all our shit. It's mad, bro, like, because, like, just to be able to live back here, lad, you know? Because the only people I grew, like, the only way when we grew up, bro, the only people that can live in the city anymore, like, out of the people that were raised here, because we're all poor, you know? Is, like, if you either have a housing commission or you can't live here. You have to rent somewhere far because it's 2D, lad. It's 2D. You know, so it feels good to be able to come back here and just be able to fucking live where I'm from. My place to be from, eh? Look, <laughs> technique. But underneath, so where you can, you know where we are. You can tell. I live across the road from Hyde Park. Obviously, I don't want people to know my exact address, but you're gonna know. I live across from Hyde Park. It's not that hard to tell. But um. Bro, everything is everything. Everything. If we, look, I'll be turning on vlogs. I go, let's go down the elevator. One minute we're here, one minute we're here, one minute we're here, the whole thing. I'm just enjoying this view myself, brother. King's Cross is, see that white building there? That apartment's in front of us? King's Cross is um, behind that. See the old Taronga Zoo straight across there. I wonder if I if I turn my head to the left, which I'm not gonna do for probably another month or two. <laughs> if I look to the left, I don't even want to walk there to hold my camera out. But if I look point my head to the left, uh, we you'd see Darling Harbour. You'd look over the top of Chinatown and you'd see, you'd see Darling Harbour, that would be over the left. You wouldn't see the water of Darling Harbour, you'd see the shops of Darling Harbour. The water of Darling Harbour would be behind them. But you'd see all the fireworks here. If, but I won't live here by New Year's. What's the date, mate? New Year's is in seven days. You know, what I, you know what's one annoying thing? I just looked at my watch. The wrong, because they're automatic watches. So they run on kinetic charge. So movement charges a mechanism, right? That's how all expensive watches run, right? But because I have a couple watches, someone said, um, oh, what happened to your Britling? Did you hock it? Nah, lad, I just own more than one good watch, lad. It's all right, it's all good, lad. Um, because sometimes, see, I've got this Britling, uh, so I've got a Tag Heuer Carrera that I wear more often, the one I was wearing in the last vlog in Darwin. But so if you wear one and you don't wear the other, the other stops functioning. Like they have enough charge to last however long, depending on the watch, anywhere between a day and three days, you know what I mean? Um, so I'll go and I wear my Carrera. And then when I pick this up, I have to change the date. I have to change the time. And then I'll wear this for two days and then I'll go back to the tag. And I, every time I swap watch, I have to change the date. I have to change, so bro, I just, I'm not even gonna, I couldn't even be bothered, bro. I've got, <laughs> I've got an iPhone, lad. Like it tells me the time and date, bro. Whatever it says, that's what it says, bro. So these are just like, bro, I got mad Swiss watches, lad, fucking hell. <laughs> True. <laughs> Far, you can see right out to the heads. You won't be able to see. Right out to the left of that building is the heads. So one of them will be the head on the north side of Sydney Harbour and that'll be straight across from the Gap, Watson's Bay in the Vaucluse area. But you can see where Sydney Harbour leaves to the Pacific Ocean. That's fucking mad, lad. That's mad. 
Yeah, spewing out. Anyway, back to what I was going to say. I won't live here on New Year's, bro. I might. I don't think I will. I don't think I'm going to move in the next seven days. I'm not going to. So I'm paying, I'm paying rent here oh, two, two weeks something without even living in it. And when your rent's over two grand a week, every day counts, lad. <laughs> it's sucking four, four thousand something out of me. I haven't even put a piece of furniture in it. Sorry, I know I'm stuffing around here. I can't get over the view. There's a swimming pool in, the, in that park too. There's actually, because with the training, I'm not going to do too many training vlogs. It's not a training channel. And I, like this vlog is not, this vlog channel is what it is. It's a vlog channel, bro. It's Spanian's life. This channel is my life. If I ever show you something, it's not because I'm trying to be cool. It's because it's my life. I don't change my life for this GoPro. This is the life I, I lead. And I just thought fucking like, you know, I've got my, my main channel and I've got my stuff I'm doing. Oh, I won't even get started. Don't worry, you'll find out in two weeks. But anyway, forget that. But I just thought, bro, like, I might as well do a channel so you can follow the journey, not only see the show. I make a show once a week. You should be able to follow the journey too. That's why I do this. If I tell you something, it's not, I'm not trying to be, you know me, bro, I'm from, Jail lad, I was a junkie. I, you know, I grew up in housing commission. I'm not trying to be something that I'm not. Just this is my, this is my life, bro. This is what this channel is, and this channel is never gonna be just one thing. Like it's a training channel, or this is a car channel. It's just random shit, bro. Like that's it, lads. Like if you love cars, I'm sorry, bro. Tune in once every ten episodes. If you love training, tune in once every six episodes. That's it. But that reminded me what I was going to say is uh, everything's a catalyst for another conversation that I have because of my ADD before the original conversation happens. <laughs> so it's like I'm going to say something and it makes me say something else first. Um, let me put my shoes on. Yeah, I don't remember what I was going to say. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the gym. I won't, The gym here, like I said, I probably won't be able to... Maybe I will, bro. I'm not. It's not like I'm pumping heavy weights. Like, you know what I mean? I might be able to train here, but probably not. It's more like a cardio light session place, you know? But anyway, reason there's a million gyms all around us. Like crazy gyms. Up on that street, there's the craziest gyms. But in the park here, in Hyde Park, there's a pool, Cook and Phillip pool and gym. It's mad indoor pool, heated. It's got like indoor soccer, it's all underground, under the park. And um, it's got two gyms in it. One outdoor gym, one indoor gym. Um, that'll be sick, we might go there. Might train there sometimes, but it's expensive. You know, pool gyms, bro, well, like $27 a day. Is this locked? It's not locked. Level eight. The gym's on level eight. <laughs> Three elevators and I'm waiting 30 plus seconds. Wait till you see how sick this is, lad. Oh. This whole building's made like really well. It's not just like El Cheapo to make money. Chuck a pool in, just whatever. Look at this. Full empty. You know when I came here, bro. This is so I came here for the inspection, um, and it was full empty. No one swimming in the pool. No one on the edges. No one in the gym. And I thought, oh, that's mad. Like, imagine you come down here, you got it to yourself. Second time, and it's, it's the day before Christmas, bro. Like, you know what I mean? You think like people will be ill churned Kids are on holidays. I don't think any kids live in this building, but anyway, look. Full 
mad sauna, lad. Let's urge. Oh, it's a proper sauna too. You know, some saunas are, are fake. Like they put, it's all wood, but really it's a steam room. Let's say if it's actually if it's actually got water and um, a banayasu, then it's real. It smells mad too. We'll be in here. Trust me, I'll be a machine. Swim laps, sauna, this, that. Look at the pool. Oh, someone's been swimming. That's mad. Alright, it's like a hybrid. You know, there's salt pools, there's chlorine pools, and then there's hybrid. I only like salt and hybrid. Bro, look at that, how mad's that? Look at that, that's sick. Like the pool runs off into the rocks. And, and bro, there's mad meeting rooms and everything, I'll show you. Barbecue area. You make bookings for this. I think on special, I think like someone like New Year's and Christmas, people will probably have a book. There's a concierge, you gotta like book everything. Oh, oh now I can see down there. Oh, we can see there, because it's not as high. Remember I said if we see left, look. <laughs> Fun fact, see that gray building closest to us, like straight across the road? That's the, the Downing Center. That's the main courthouse. I've been inside that court right there next door. I've been underground in those cells. I've done trials there. Um, been to court there 50 plus times. I've done like four week trials, three week trials there. Um, on a ship, uh, on a bus from Park Lee every morning, Silverwater every morning. Under the cells there. Uh, we'll walk in front of it, I'll show you. Um, and now I live next door in a penthouse. Thank you God, bro. It's God. You know what I mean? If you put the hard work in, you do the right decisions, but God lays it out in front of you and he leaves it up to you. It's no decisions without him. You don't take all the credit. Oh, I've done everything. You didn't do nothing because you just put the icing on the cake. That's how I look at it. That's museum station. Uh, so that's a train station. Museum. Straight underneath is a train station. Yeah, that's a... Well, <laughs> it's funny anyway. Is that um, the Downing Center, next door to the Downing Center. Cabana. Ah, that's hectic. This one's closed in. It smells like a massage parlor. You know, it smells better. It's like it smells like, you know, like a like a you know one of those relaxation places where you sit in the baths and stuff like that. Not like a Thai massage. It smells like mad, bro. Tanning beds. Am I brave here? I'm a little braver, like I can stand. I wouldn't go and touch that. I wouldn't go and stand on the glass. No way. Is that a straight drop? We're only eight stories up, but lad, anything above, anything above four stories is dead. I'm not even going there. I don't care, brother. Who cares if it's a drop or not? <laughs> this is a mad chill spot. This corner here. This corner is a mad chill posy, lad. Yeah, this is a sick chill posy. I can see myself after every training session, like here. This is mad. Swim, sauna, here. This is, and this is open here to the east. So anything before 12 o'clock on a non-cloudy day, this will be all sun. 
That's Oxford Street here underneath us. Going up there. This is Liverpool Street, but that's Oxford. They're building so many new buildings here, eh? Hey, look. Look at the gym. Oh, they got actual dumbbells. No, they got dumbbells, lad. I didn't know that. I actually didn't see that. They're not heavy, but who cares, bro? No, lad. They got 20. They got 20. They got 20s. They got a padded area. Look. They got a bench. Man, row machine, they're the, they're the norm. That's all I thought it had actually, I didn't look at it properly. They got a pull down machine and a row, ma so it's pull downs and rows. Let me, we gotta see how heavy this is. Lad, I might be able to smash out. But they even got a shoulder press. What's that, a leg press? Come on, lad. I swear these look heavy. That doesn't look like those gammon ones. That's full solid. Like this might be the workouts, bro. I swear to God, imagine that. I'm 100% serious. I think I can train here. You know what there isn't? There's war, please be it. Please be able to. There is one thing that I must, must have in my training area and that is dip bars. That dips are to me for chest everything, right? This is a bit wide. There's, look, you can't have it all. There's a park at the back here. And when I, when I was driving in, see down there? When I was driving in, I seen an Asian guy in the park and he looked like he was doing like circuits. I wonder if there's somewhere. But you know what? You can dip anywhere. You can, I can dip here, cuz. These are my dips here, look. My keys are there, look. Please don't be flimsy. Please, please be solid. It's solid, lad. Here's my dips, it's solid. Brother. It's full proper, look. Bruh, I am set. No more gyms, brother. No more paying for gyms, no more dealing with people, no more copyright music, we're set. At least, I promise, at least two, at least, at least one session a week, or two sessions a week, I'll vlog it now, if, if I got my own gym. Look. Proper solid. I'm set. That's dips. Let's try how heavy this pull down is. Let's see, because this, this is the mainstay of a pull session would be this row here and this pull down. So if this is heavy, if it's at least 80 kilos, that's our pull. Because we can obviously train arms. Those dumbbells are, are more than good enough for arms. I'm going to do half the stack, see how half the stack feels. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this goes. Surely that doesn't go like that. Oh, no. Bro. Like, I wouldn't even be able to do the stack. That's half the stack. This is one from the bottom. We're 
set. We're set. I can't even do the stack. The stack's pulling me up out of my seat. So there you go. There's, there's at least six months of progress just off that. And then that goes to say the rose is more than heavy enough. You're going to be stronger on a pull down than you are on a row. I'm so G'd, bro. Look, this even to go onto here for cable, cable arms, dumbbells all the way from two to 20. Set. So a push route. Push routine would be dips, always dips. Then I'd either finish off with push-ups. I'd have to do, it may be a light press, like 20 kilos press, but either that or push-ups or dumbbell flies or an incline press with the 20s. That's not optimal, but if you're doing dips as your power exercise, believe me, after smashing dips to do really slow focused Presses with 20s, more than good enough. Even push-ups, more than good enough. And then we've moved on to shoulders. We've got side raises, 20s, way more than enough. I do side raises with 12s. Front raises, same. Cable, cable front raises. Seated shoulder press. If, <laughs> if that weight is anything like that, then that's way beyond too heavy. And then there's just the leg press, which I imagine to be the same way. We're set. There's no leg extension. Um, all right, so what I think is, is that on um, certain leg days, certain leg days, it's not necessary. I could get away with doing a routine of heavy leg press, then um, jumping lunges, uh, wall sits, which are like this which is the jail replacement, which I actually done this morning. I was at the gym this morning and done legs and I still done this instead of leg extensions. You just do this after doing presses and you do holds and you slide down and up and slide down. That's like jail leg extensions. Hamstrings may be a little bit hard, but if I grab a light weight and do stiff legged deadlifts and what I can do here is I can lay with my stomach on that, with my feet under here, and curl myself up and that's like a hamstring curl, like a jail hamstring curl. I'm set lad. Hoosh lad. Boom, boom lad, hey. Bang, bang. They're watching me on camera and they're thinking, who's this bloke, mate, making movies, punching the air. Who are ya? Get out of our flats, mate. You're an imposter. I'm not going anywhere. Tell me this is cold. Cold and filtered. Cold and filtered. I'm so G, bro. Do you know how? Um, oh, lad, I'm beyond G. Like I, like I said, I've seen all of this already, and. Even how secure the building is, how secure this building is. This building has 24 seven security, like a security person. Then it has two concierge. One of them is there all night. Cameras everywhere. Even to get into the car park, it's two different buttons with two, one locks and then the, and you can't just have one swipe to get in. So you need a, one button, it opens, you go behind that and then another, uh, but another fob, whatever, another thing with a different button just to get into the car park. But when I came here, I thought like, yeah, this place is hectic. But I thought about the gym, it's a pretend gym. Like, it's like I wouldn't be able to train there. So, but to know that I can go, and it's aircon too. To know that I can go there, tra in one spot for free, train, swim and sauna, for free every day. Well, it's not for free, is it? It costs like $300 a day to live here. So, do you get what I'm trying to say? It's all encompassed and convenient, right? Let's go, um, I'll show you the front of the Downing Center <laughs> where I sat in many trials like. What a cross, eh? A 
Look at that custom. Like I bought the chain first by itself, and then I wanted a. Uh, this. Actually, I've got a thing. Oh yeah. I've got to pick up. Uh, my wife left, or the cleaners left our other keys with you. Thank you. It's beautiful. So that's the concierge. This is the entry. Look at that. Hectic, eh? Mad lounges and that. Cafe underneath us. I might actually get a coffee. Look at me keys I'm holding. Because we, we had to leave the spare keys at the concierge because um, the cleaners yesterday. To be honest, it looks the place when we inspected it was like full spotless. I didn't even notice the difference then. But the when we signed the lease, the real estate sent out professional cleaners again. They'd have been cheering. They walked in, they would have looked at each other like, mate, this place is clean. Just like do something like spray air freshener. <laughs> Hello mate, how are you? Good, thank you. Can I get a small long black please? No worries, anything else? No thank you. No sugar, no milk. No sugar, no milk. Oh, it's strong, man. Thank you. He called me strong man. <laughs> yeah, you know, Asian fellas are funny. They're funny. No worries, strong man. <laughs> That's mad too. Straight across from the, the station. You know what I, I, I love about, because I'm going to have cars that I don't want to drive heaps, like for now it's an Evo. By the way, I've got big yarns about the cars, cars, it might be. Anyway, it doesn't matter, but um, they're the type of car, it's, it's the type of car, let's not think too far in the future. It's the type, these cars you don't want to drive them every day, long distance. You know, living here, I can't see myself driving that much. Where am I going to drive? Like, where am I going to drive? Oh, I didn't show you the meeting rooms. I'll show you the meeting rooms. Uh, down, uh, anyway, I won't show you. Who cares, bro? So that's not interesting to you. It's interesting to me because I have... I might... Thank you. Hey, Dumba. How are you? Thank you. Uh, thank you. Um, because I've got, got an office. I've got, I got an office, like the Spanian media studio. For office, you know, like that I have my editors and stuff in. And... Um, I usually have meetings there. There's nothing fancy. You've seen my office and I've got the mural up in it and stuff. But here, there's like full meeting rooms. They look like libraries with like all mad shit in it, professional coffee makers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna tell my managers now when we have meetings, come over to my meeting board, cuz. The one downstairs from me, cuz, what are you talking about? Back to the yarn is that, the reason I said that is that but I don't know where I would even be driving. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, every, every, it's probably like every, every 10 days, every two weeks, I'll be driving to the airport. That's it. Even then, I'll probably Uber it. Because think about it. Like, where am I going to go? I've got the, whole, got the whole city here. And it's mad, this, the thing here. Because my sister still goes to school. Out, out in the suburbs so this goes straight to her school and then that's our entrance is actually right underneath us you can either go down there or you can cross the road and go in the main entrance but this here is the downy center see how i said across the road that's the downy center this gold gold building here it's not open today because um obviously it's christmas eve and yeah, it's, it shuts down, I think. I don't remember specifically, and I'm glad I don't. I knew it all too well. I think courts close on the 19th of December. Somewhere between the 19th and the 21st. 19, 20 or 21st. And then they open back up somewhere between the 6th 
of January to the 9th of January. But yeah, usually you see the front here. When you see all the news reporters and stuff filming people coming out after a trial, going on like they're mad and that, that's on those stairs just there. But those stairs are usually full of all like criminals in suits, smoking their cigarettes, stressing out before they have to go up the elevators to their court courthouse. You know one thing I'm gonna miss, but moving here, Arab food on my Uber Eats. When you live around Canterbury and Belmore, I hate the area, but like it's not my area. I'm feeling out of place. But you open your Uber Eats, well, cause <laughs> all the Arab food, lad, that's oj. And you win the city here, so it's it's gonna be mostly like takeaway food. There's pubs and then it's just all Asian food. I'm gonna miss that. I'm sure there will be a couple Arab restaurants around or Greek. I live on Arab and Greek food, bro, like I full do. I'm sure there would be. I like Thai too, but like once a week. Um, I'm sure there will be, but you can imagine how dear it will be. Like Uber Eats out there, cause I get two like mixed plates, chicken mixed plates from, from um, Yasmin's delivered. For like $32, like $16 a plate. Here, each plate will be like 40 bucks. Yeah, but that's the Downing Center. So obviously, if you're coming to court from the outside, you're going up there. So you see at the front, all the families and all the lads stressing out, pumping Unger bays, waiting for their sentence. But if you're coming as a prisoner, they all come over the Anzac Bridge from the western suburbs, the way we drove in. Come up that street there at, um, that street up there is uh, uh, Bathurst Street. They come up Bathurst Street. They turn down this street, Castle Ray. And there's a side entrance just down there on the left. And that's like the suit, that's the dock. And it goes down, the trucks go down. Um, and they go about approximately three stories underground and that's where all the cells are. And underneath us is all the subways, like many subway systems. So there's a museum line, there's a town hall line. They all join to Central because that's Central Station where the trees are at the end of that street. So because you're underground, you see nothing. You're underground, like you're full underground. Forget windows and that, you're three stories underground. But you're near the subway tunnels. So you'll be in your cell there and it's just like every three minutes. And it's like you're just hating life, bro. <laughs> Imagine that, lad. Well, that's, that's the game, bro. That's the game. They're the rules of the game, lad. And that's the stage in the game that you have to conquer. Yeah, the Spaniard. Hey, how are you, brother? Good, brother. Yeah. You're getting that good content. Thank you, bro. How mad is that lad? Like everywhere I go, people. Sometimes I stress out a little bit, a little bit. But bro, like everywhere I go, people just like love me and cheer me on, lad. I don't know why God loves me so much, bro. Like to give me this. That is more powerful than anything. Forget that. I live in a building. I've got a chain. I've got a watch. I bought an Evo. Like heaps of people can do that. So what? Hey, the one. How are you? Heaps of people can buy that stuff. People have all that stuff. People have better stuff. So what? But to stand somewhere like this, like look at that. And people like they genuinely like love me and they're excited. And they get photos with me and they're like shaking and they show their families like, bro, that's priceless. You can't buy that. You can't buy that, lad. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's mad world. Later. It's mental, and it's not here, just Sydney, everywhere, cuz. The whole Australia, I was copping it in Europe. Anyway, that's it. I'm not gonna explore the city. I have got all year to explore the city. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee, jump back in my car, it's Christmas Eve, so. I'm going with my wife. We're going to her family. I'm gonna smash Islander food all day. 
trying to be healthy, so not too many palosamis. But I'll definitely be smashing some. Hopefully there's chili oka and rice. That's me all day. Chili oka and rice. Laters. Merry Christmas.